Gymnastics is a difficult sport that requires years of training and many different skills, such as flexibility, balance, upper and lower body strength, concentration, and discipline. Gymnastics training is hard, even for athletes, and not everyone can handle it. Jonathan Owens, who is engaged to Simone Biles, found out the same thing a few days ago. Simone Biles reacted as Jonathan Owens failed to keep up with her strength. During the most recent episode of Simone's Snapchat show, Dare Simone, she challenged her fiancé to a match. The couples competed against each other in gymnastics gymnastics and football in the episode. As the match began, the couple was fighting in a cute way, but when the gymnastics flip challenge came up, Biles said he knows he's not going to stick it like I did. In the meantime, Jonathan showed her that she was right when he turned down during a backflip. The famous gymnast finally talked about how badly she wanted to win the match. Okay, I can't let Jonathan win and think that football is harder than gymnastics, she said. I really need to pay attention, see the ball, get to the right spot, and throw. Owens won the challenge at the end of the match against Simone. People in the sports world think the couple is one of the cutest. The couple met for the first time on a social dating app. They are often seen taking care of each other and always have each other's backs. Most of the time, Simone goes to her fiancé's games and cheers him up from the crowd. In one episode of Simone vs. Herself, she went to the gymnastics arena with her fiancé. Simone told him to try some tricks there, but Owens wasn't able to do it very well. I thought I was athletic until I came here and tried to do this, he said. They said I couldn't do the most basic things, so I said, oh, okay. While praising her, he said, the first thing that kind of caught my eye about her was her work ethic. I've never really paid attention to gymnastics. When I first met her and talked to her, I had no idea who she was. Then in 2021, the couple told the world on social media how much they loved each other. Biles found her love after going through a time of depression and other mental problems. Earlier on, Simone Biles revealed the exciting part of being Jonathan Owens' fiance. She doesn't seem to be thinking about gymnastics because she is so busy with her wedding plans. Simone shows her love for her fiance, Jonathan Owens, in different ways. She posts a picture of them on Instagram and takes him to games. When Simone said she was getting married to NFL player Jonathan Owens, the internet went crazy. Since they announced their relationship on Instagram in August 2020, fans can't get enough of them. From the day that they told everyone they were dating, they were seen together a lot. Simone seems to be his biggest fan while he was playing house safety for Houston Texans. During the matches, when she was cheering for Owens, she was caught more than once. Simone talked about how much she loves her fiancé in an interview with People. She's talked about how exciting it is to be engaged to him and try new things, like matches. Simone also started her new show, Daring with Simone, a few days ago. In one of the episodes, she and her fiancé did a challenge together. Both football and gymnastics were part of the challenge. During the challenge, they had a nice fight that showed how long-lasting their disagreement about which sports are hard is. But Jonathan wins the challenge at the end of the episode. Owens is an NFL player, but he also knows how hard it is to be a gymnast. When Owens and Simone first met on a dating app, Owens didn't know who Simone was. In the episode of Simone vs. Her Herself, the NFL player talked about how Simone's work ethic impressed him when she brought him to the gymnastics arena for the first time. Now, recently, Simone Biles cheers on fiancé Jonathan Owens as she headlines NFL kickoff video. The NFL season will start soon. The NFL released a new video on Tuesday with lots of famous people in it to get fans excited about the 2022-23 season. The first game of the season is on Thursday. The Seattle Seahawks wide receiver DK Metcalf starts the video, which is called It Feels Good to Football, by playing the piano. The music he plays is Dr. Dre's famous song, Still DRE. The NFL says that the choice of song is a tribute to the performance at last year's Super Bowl halftime show by Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar. While the song gets the crowd excited, Metcalf says over the mic, Welcome to the NFL's 103rd season. Now is the time. Simone Biles, an Olympic gymnast who is 25 years old, flips through a group of cheerleaders while the crowd cheers. She is wearing a Houston Texans jersey to represent her home state and her fiancé, Jonathan Owens, who plays safety for the team. In the crowd, you can see celebrities like Frankie LaPena from TikTok and YouTube, the rappers Saweetie and Pusha T, Pinto Ron from the Bills Mafia, pro boxer Ryan Garcia, and Los Angeles Chargers safety Derwin James. Lil Wayne celebrates as he shoots jerseys into the crowd with t-shirt cannons, while Jordan yells to the crowd. In the last second of the video, Baltimore Ravens kicker Justin Tucker sings, It Feels Good to Football, in an operatic voice. Capturing the joy and excitement that comes with the start of the season, It Feels Good to Football, brings fans and players together in one monumental celebration to officially welcome back football, the NFL said in a release to People. Biles posted the video to Instagram on Tuesday morning and said she was excited to watch at J. Owens and the entire NFL season. At 8.20 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, September 8th, the Buffalo Bills and the Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams will play the first game of the season at SoFi Stadium. NBC will show the game. Moving on to related news, one year later, Simone Biles says she has no regrets over Tokyo 
Olympics. Simone Biles has been getting awards for a long time. She won 25 medals, including four golds at the Olympics. She is the first woman to win five all-around world championship titles. She was on the Time 100 and Forbes 30 under 30 list. She is so well known in the sport of gymnastics that she is often called by just four letters. The letters stand for greatest of all time. But during the qualifying round for the Tokyo Olympics on July 25, 2021, something didn't feel right. By the end of the day, Simone had done things that were not like her. She wrote on social media, It wasn't an easy day, but I made it through. Then, two days later, Simone shocked everyone when, after simplifying a vault and taking a hop on the landing, she pulled out of the day's competition. She decided not to compete in three more events in the end, but she didn't win a bronze medal on the balance beam. Simone later said that she was also having trouble with her mental health and had the twisties, which is when a gymnast loses track of where they are in the air when they twist and flip. The scary problem can be dangerous. Some fans and commentators criticized Simone for going away, but others agreed agreed with her decision to put her mental health first. But Simone, the best gymnast in decades, changed what a champion looks like over the course of two weeks last summer. Being on top or breaking records used to be all the word champion meant, she tells Good Housekeeping. Today, it means putting yourself out there, showing your inner strength, and being brave. Finally, former President Barack Obama filled in for Gabby Douglas. After the Olympics, it has been a long-standing tradition for the President of the United States to invite the Olympians to the White House. In the 2016 Summer Olympics, they won seven medals, combined individually in addition to the gold in the all-around team event. The girls worked really hard, which is why they were invited to the White House. There was one person who wasn't having as much fun as everyone else. Gabby Douglas couldn't go because she was still in pain after dental surgery. But the team never ran out of people because the former president stepped in to fill the empty spot. Obama tried to go his own way and not work with the team. He tried very hard to do the split, and it was good that he was almost able to do it, even though his wife, former First Lady Michelle Obama, gave him a reality check when she said, Andy can't can't touch his toes, which is very funny. The cast of The Final Five had a lot of fun at the White House. They also liked juggling, and Lori showed off her dance moves. All of this was posted on the White House's Instagram account. Fans have always loved how cute it was when the former president and his wife joked around with each other. The Final Five had a very relaxing and fun time on this trip. After all, they had to deal with a lot of stress and hard situations at the Olympics. When athletes get an invitation like this, it gives them a boost of energy and makes them want to do better. Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time we had for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, cheers!